I don't. Well, well, hold on. I thought you were bringing <laughs> breakfast. You, you, there's no bags. Breakfast. Where's the breakfast? Where's my eggos? No, it's out there. Come on. <laughs> you know what? No, I, I, I got to tell you, I bet, <laughs> Austin, you can do a lot of things really well, but I just don't know if making breakfast is something. Here, come on, have a seat. Okay. Can you make breakfast? Can you cook? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you have you ever cooked anything? Uh, besides macaroni, nothing. But you, macaroni, there's nothing that's wrong with macaroni. That's a start. Macaroni's yeah. a start. Yeah, it's a great it's okay. Start. Hey, so uh, I've got to ask you. After uh, we were done with uh, the Today Show on NBC, you mm -hmm. went over to Madame Tussauds, the uh, the uh, wax yeah wax museum? Museum, museum, which is just world famous. People from around the world go to these different Madame Tussauds around the world. The one here in New York has Austin Mahone in it. Was there something on you that you're like? Oh my god! I didn't know that I looked like that there. Um, like your eyes or your eyebrows, something, anything. I definitely saw my eyebrows and was like, man, these things need a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like squirrels on my face. Squirrels. Yeah. You know what I love about dirty work? Of course, the single you did yesterday, the single that's out right now, is it really? And I don't know how to put it into words. I'm hoping you can do it, Austin. Okay. Right. It really is taking your sound to uh, a diff a different place. Mm. It has the energy is different. The production is different. The guitars in this song alone, I mean, you know, even without you, the guitars are great. Yeah. I'm just, well, I think um, it's good if you stay in there. And thank, you. Don't, yeah, no, thank you. Don't release thank a song you. with guitars. Not just guitars. Yeah. I mean, how do you describe the difference in the sound with this? And I'm assuming the difference in the sound, which will be in on your new album. Yeah, so I feel like um, Dirty Work is uh, a definitely more mature vibe. And I feel like older people can relate to it. And Why are you looking at me? It. I'm just I'm looking at everyone. <laughs> All the old people. Not, not saying you guys are older. No, when but. you say older people, what what is it about this song that's more mature that is more in something we would get into? Um, just because I feel like my past singles have been like more for like younger girls and like younger audiences, and now I feel like dirty work. You know, you can like turn this on the radio and be like, wow, this is a good song. Like driving to work and be like, okay, like I can I can. It can be for everyone. Yeah, everyone. Not excluding anyone, a younger or yeah. art. I, I just want to get more fans from different age groups. Okay. Yeah. What so are you going to put out for it's all part. It's all part <laughs> of his yeah. <laughs> This is all part of his diabolical plot. You know, we, we have musicians coming through here all the time, and it's just in, it's so, so interesting to ask them how they are evolving. Like, where you were, where you are, where you're going. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that you've worked with some great people in the business who've, mm -hmm. like, inspired you to think of new ways to, mm -hmm. to pump the sound, things like that. Yeah. I mean, when you listen to the song, when you listen to the single after it was all done... Mm -hmm. Were you happy with it? Were you, were you like, yeah. Or are you one of those performers that's like, you know what? We could go back in and we could do that better. No, I was definitely happy with it. And I feel like there's always things that like I'll, I'll hear back after it's out. They're like, oh man, I definitely should have changed this before I put it out. But you can't do nothing about it now. But I mean, I think it turned out great. And, uh, you know, for me, it's always like, man, like I think this is a great song, but I don't really know exactly how it's going to do. So I'm just going to put this out and just wish myself luck. And hopefully it does great. If so. they call, it's like farting in the elevator. <laughs> I don't know how that's related at all. No, I'll tell you how. <laughs> you, you do it, and then you get off, and then you get off the elevator as fast as possible, and it's up to the people on the elevator how to handle it. And to figure out who did it. Yeah, figure out who did it. No, but so we're talking about one single here. We also have an album. That, yeah. No offense, but you owe us an album. Yeah. We, no, it's we my need first an album. album. Yeah. We need an album, and we're assuming it's going to be out before the end of the year. We're that's, hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Now that I got the single out, I can hopefully put a second one out. Like, what are you hearing people say? about dirty work you're like wow i never thought of that i like what they're saying yeah i mean i've heard a lot of people that like um wouldn't really necessarily like listen to my music be like wow like the song's actually really good like i i'm starting to like austin mahone now so that's that's pretty cool so um when i hear comments like that it makes me want to make more songs like dirty work but like it's cool because i'll, I'll go to um like different radio stations mm -hmm. and i'll invite fans like 50 fans 100 fans and uh, i'll sit them down and then i'll play them like five songs from my album and then um, I'll kind of like decide like which kind of sound they like the best. And then because I have like 60, 70 songs recorded already and I can kind of decide like which ones to throw together for the album. So what if you played a song and you may have played a song for the fans mm -hmm. and they're like, eh. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you really liked it. I mean, they, uh, I, I definitely, okay. I can tell that. Like they never, they never just said like eh before, but like, I can, I can definitely tell like which ones I like better than the others. They, they show more passion for the exactly. ones they really like. Exactly. And there's some they're like, oh, that's really good. Yeah. yeah okay. Good yeah. shots. Good But you effort. know what? This is, you know, in, in the business world, this is what's called research. You know, yeah. we do it here all the time. So I'll tell you something I know that Austin Mahone loves to do. What's that? Almost more than anything. 
He loves to sleep. Mm. He's a sleeper. I mean, doesn't everyone love to sleep? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Sleep is so underrated, mm. isn't it? I was it? on two hours yesterday. It was rough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's got to be rough. But sleep. If you could, even though your 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 career is is it's a busy career, you got lots to do. Mm-hmm. If you could take a week off, how much of that week would it be spent just between the sheets with your eyes closed and just <laughs> snoring away? Um, if I had a week off, I yeah. probably wouldn't sleep that much either, just because I would be doing other stuff, like you, other you, fun stuff. You would swim, play basketball. Yeah, I'd play basketball pretty much the whole week, and then he'd sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <I'd> sleep. <laughs> All right. So Austin Hone. Uh, Dirty Work is out now. The album, we do believe, will be out by the end of the year. Hopefully. <laughs> See, he, he can't commit. Hopefully. Can't Fingers commit. Crossed. I can't say anything. Typical guy can't commit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> and thank you for uh, breakfast, and thank you for coming on the Today thank Show you, yesterday. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. They love yeah. having you there as well. Austin Mahone. <laughs>